Hey, what's up guys? BossX7 here with another No Limit Suit tutorial. And today I have a fun one for you guys. Today we're going to be making RMC cross ties. So this is legit C-beam cross ties. And so let's get started. So first off, I have a pre-made little RMC here. It's not finished obviously, it's just for the tutorial. So go ahead and select your track. And you're going to want to go to style in all your track settings and go to tie spacing and make it low stress. So this will space out the stock uh, cross ties. So style settings here and low stress. Oops. There we go. And let's continue here. Or my bad. Uh, select lowest stress, not low stress. So right here. There we go. All right. So once that's complete, let's go ahead and go to supports. Go to wood generator. All right, now after that, press generate final. Deselect all of these. So the catwalks, handrails, deselect those. And then go to simple or whatever uh, style you want. I'm just going to simple for this tutorial. And make sure you go to bend spacing 6.25 feet. And after you've done that, press OK. And have it generate. All right, so you can see what the, what the cross size adjustment did. So you see how these are all spaced out now. And we have our bend spacing pretty close at 6.25 feet. So now we're going to make the C-beam uh, cross ties. So let's go ahead and get started. So unfreeze. And go ahead and delete all of these um, cross ties that are wooden. So delete all of them. Alright, so once those are deleted, let's go ahead and make a new support. So let's go to supports, add beam. And let's go to support panel. And let's go ahead and make it a custom color and go to C-beam uh, right up here and let's make the profile width 0.3 profile height make it 1 make it horizontal beam and at the start make it 0.4 at the end make it 0.4 and for relative X let's make that 0.3 for now there we go so let's go ahead and close that out and for the first ones you're going to want to start from this node here and drag in and you should see it push outward so see how this is offset so if I do it backwards, you'll see that it will be offset the other way. So go this way, and you'll see that it is offset this way. So for the first one, go ahead and offset it this way. So, oops, this way. So start on this node every time, and go this way. So we're gonna do that for the whole track. So let's get started. Alright, so I've added the cross size to the entire track, so let's go ahead and freeze it, see what it looks like. Alright, so now you see we have our cross ties, so now let's go ahead and add a little bit more detail. Now you can see, if you look at RMC tracks in real life, you'll see that it actually hugs the center pole. So let's go ahead and add that now. So let's go ahead and unfreeze the coaster. And to do that, a lot of people are sometimes get lost with this, but I know a pretty simple way to do it. So let's go ahead and go to supports, and let's go to add beam node. And all you have to do for this, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and add two beam nodes on all of these poles, just like so. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so once that's complete, once you have beam nodes on every single one of these poles, I'll show you guys what those are for in a second. So let's go back to add beam. And let's go to support panel. Now you notice that for when you started from this node here and drag to that side, it offsets in the front. Now you want to offset in the back now. So let's go ahead and drag from this one to this one. And you see that this does offset in the back. And then when you drag these beam nodes up, when you generate the wood supports, these these uh, free nodes automatically separate the support nodes. I mean the support beams. So you'll notice that when you drag this all the way up to the top, that it stops. And if it's flush exactly inside, of the free nodes. So when you do this, when you drag this one up, let's go ahead and drag this one up here. And when you freeze it, you will see that you have two flush C beams um, hugging the pole perfectly. And you can look from the top view, they look really nice and professional. So let's go ahead and finish the track off, and I'll see you guys in a minute.
All right, so we got them all pulled up. So let's go ahead and freeze it and see what it looks like. All right, hey, what's up guys? We're back with the final product. And I think they came out really nice. So you can see that these have no clipping whatsoever and they attach to the post beams really nice as well as the track. And you can just do this along your entire track. It might be kind of time consuming, but hey, that's what it takes. <laughs> so um, yeah, so if you guys wanna have the rails, I'll be doing a tutorial for that pretty soon here. And there are tutorials already out there online you guys can check out, as well as on the forums if you need it quickly. But uh, I'll be doing my own spin on this tutorial uh, pretty soon. And I will be making a tutorial on how to make RMC motors. And um, perhaps um, maybe some catwalks too. So some RMC, cool RMC catwalks for you guys to make on your coasters. So uh, yeah. And some people had questions on the T-Rex track, the T-Rex track audio and the track. So I will be doing a tutorial on that pretty soon um, once I release the coaster. And some people had some questions on the reflective T-Rex track and the T custom T-Rex audio I created for my coaster links, which should be coming out here pretty soon. Um, I will, once I release the coaster, I will release the audio file for that track, so you guys can have your own and custom T-Rex roars if you want to do that. And I'll also be doing a tutorial on how to make the T-Rex track pretty soon here. I just got kind of caught up with school and stuff here, so yeah. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions for the Sports Game Pack version 2, Leave a comment down below. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until you find your way back home.